Bass tracking? Mm-hmm. Recording? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. No warning, no nothing. <clears throat> no, we're just starting. Okay. All right. Did you want to put the ball game in there? Yeah, we could show it. But, okay. Uh, let's get the basics out of the way first. Okay, cool. All right, so this microphone over here. All right. So face tracking is uh, part of Max through this uh, series of objects that are not native to Max. You have to download them or install them. They're called the CVJIT objects. Um, they can be downloaded and installed right here with the package manager. There's little, this little uh, box icon on the left side of the Max window. Cube. Cube box. <laughs> Cube. Um, so here is uh, the package manager. It used to be you had to download them and install them in like very specific way. It was kind of a pain in the ass. You're dating yourself right now. Yeah. Well, it's okay. <laughs> I've been using Max a long time. <laughs> I know you really, have. Really long time. Um, now they have this nifty package manager, and you just click a single button, and it installs it. It's really nice. So, uh, all right. So the package the package we need is called the cv.jit package, and it should find it. And here it is. Um, you click on it, and you say install. I'm not going to do it. I don't know why it says install for me, because it's already installed. Yeah, that's interesting. Weird. Maybe um, it's a newer version. I may have had. Um, mine might be still the manually installed version from, yeah. I don't know, from years ago. Uh, but yeah, you just hit the install button. It installs all the objects you need and the help patches. So um, you will have to do this before any of this makes any sense. Like if you don't install the CVJIT library with by clicking on this button, none of the face tracking demos that we've made here will work. Will work. They won't right. work because they require um, an object that's part of this library, which is called uh, cvjit.faces, which is specifically geared towards face detection. Okay. Um, so assuming you've installed those, um, we can just look at the basics of face detection and how it actually works. So first thing, we need some kind of webcam input. I mean, it will work on video files. Mm -hmm. So you can do face detection on pre-recorded video exactly the same as you can with, um, you know, webcam input or, you know, some other so live if, input. Instead of sending the grab in, you'd send the movie in. Right. Okay, yeah. Cool. And mm -hmm. it does, so... The face detection doesn't know the difference between live and pre-recorded. It just doesn't care. It's just got video frames coming in. It's looking for faces in them. Right. So we're going to do everything live, though. So um, we've got our webcam input, which is the same as what we've been doing in previous uh, uh, screencasts. So this one is geared towards um, using the external webcam. Uh, so they've got the get format list and the get dev list uh, for getting different devices if you have external uh, cameras connected, but we're just going to use the internal one for now. So I'll hit open there and then turn on the Metro and it's working. So, uh, yeah, so grab is sending out video <laughs> frames uh, and it's sending it over here just so we can see the live input, but it's also then sending it over here to this sub patch called CV face detection. This is something I made uh, and inside here is the whole, uh, it looks a little complicated, but it's not too bad. So the, the real key object here is this one right in the center. This is the CV JIT faces object. This is the one that's at the, from the library that we downloaded um, that does the actual face detection. So face detection, I mean, uh, other people can c talk about in much more detail about how exactly how it's finding faces. But my understanding is that CV JIT faces has inside of it a model of what a face is supposed to look like and that involves things like symmetry and certain patterns like two eyes being up here and one mouth being down here and a nose and so it's got some kind of model of what it's looking for and it basically scans through the entire image looking for that pattern and it does it at different scales so it's going to look for big faces and small faces so it's got windows of varying sizes that it's scanning through every frame of incoming video and looking for faces of different sides. So it's extremely computationally intensive. Right. It's actually causing my computer to fan to turn on right now. So we want to do face detection on much lower resolution than what, what's actually coming in from the camera. So coming in from the camera, we have 1280 by 720. And we're down sampling that to 320 by 180, which I think might even be a little bit too high still. So yeah. previous demos I've done 180 by 160 or something even even lower yeah. than that but we'll try it at 320 by 180 um so if you want to crash your computer <laughs> send the full, full high resolution full <laughs> high resolution image right into cbjit faces and you'll see what happens uh so we're doing um 
320 by 180 quarter, so that's a quarter resolution of what's actually coming in making a grayscale so this is the actual image that the cvjit faces is looking for the faces inside of so it finds the faces and then it sends out the coordinates of the bounding box of the faces so where is the face the box that surrounds the face it sends those coordinates out as a jit matrix that we can un we can unroll that data with its object jit.iter and then we want to multiply it um, back up by two so we get back to this um, half resolution uh, version so we take the numbers that are coming out um, multiply by two so we get you know matching this half resolution version that we're sending into jit.lcd and we're just drawing we're doing frame rect uh dollar sign one two three four um so we're drawing that rectangle onto a jit.lcd and the result is um that we have this nice big rectangle being drawn around uh whatever faces it finds so if you come over and see it works with multiple faces it'll draw uh, many rectangles here right um if you want to know more about frame rec, there's a target picker previous thing that we did that you can see more about that. Yeah. Um, all right, so it's drawing that face, and there you go. So if I'm farther away, it gets smaller, and I'm closer up the face. It just draws the rectangle around, whatever faces it finds. I'm kind of surprised it's not finding Abe. Abe. But anyway, and you know, it often finds faces where there's no where, face. Why is my neck getting a face? It looks like a face to the it algorithm. It does not. Oh. I mean, it doesn't look like a face, but. I don't have a face neck. <laughs> face. <laughs> Let's stop there. Yes. I think we're done.